My good friends, in this life, just ask God to help you not to fall into temptation that will make those that trust you to begin to question your integrity. You know, you remember the story of Job in the Bible. When the friends of Job came, they spent days beside Job without uttering a word. The first question they asked Job, after several days, they were shocked because of what happened. The first question was, Sir, are you still retaining your integrity? That was the first question they asked you. So what am I saying? I saw the viral video concerning Apostle T near the OPM. And I asked myself one question. What do we drive and pulling ourselves down? On a daily basis, there are some people they bent on looking for somebody they will pull down on a daily basis by character assassination. My advice to most of us, you cannot pray against temptation and they stop it. But you can pray not to fall into it. To have temptation is not a sin, but to fall into it is a sin. And I discovered these days that most dangerous weapon the enemy uses against most men of God is sexual immorality as a trap or framework. I tell you people, Apostle Tinere will not be pulled down this way. The mighties will not continue to fall in this manner. He has done more good in this kingdom business than whatever most people may care to know. I'm afraid of human praises because they are so deceptive. The same group of people that shouted Hosanna, Hosanna will also shout crucify him, crucify him. They suddenly forget whatever you have done in the past. But I tell you, the person you destroy today, you may need the person's help tomorrow. That is the mystery in this world we are into. As a lady, I will give you a piece of advice. Do not make yourself an object of temptation to men of God. Because God will definitely hit you below the belt. If you are an agent of darkness, sneaking, malingering, meandering around men of God with your satanic and the seductive manipulation, I tell you, God will definitely take sleep off your eyes. You must encounter God in a horrible state that you will not forget easily. Can you imagine anointing most men of God to build over 20, 30 years? You want to destroy in two or three minutes with your sexual promiscuity and the body of as well. After this scandal, what next? What will you achieve? I remember many years ago, they used it against late prophet T.B. Joshua. They used it against Apostle John C. Suleiman against Reverend Fadeji Kembaka, against uh, Prophet Joshua Ingila, now Apostle Chinyere, OPM. Tomorrow, you people will come after me. I will not lay curse on you, but I will tell you something, that God knows how to handle your case. Daughters of Jezebel, daughters of Pharaoh, your days are numbered and the shorts.